Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is uh, Tuesday, uh, November 13th, uh, 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar. It looks like it's going to be uh, a busy uh, day. As you can see, we got some speeches from uh, um, Bank of Canada Deputy um, Lawrence Schremby from the Reserve Bank of Australia. Uh, Guy uh, the Bell uh, speech as well. We got data from uh, from the um, uh, Japan, from uh, uh, New Zealand, Australia. But the key data that we would like to focus on are PMI manufacturing and non-manufacturing PMI from China. Those data, both of them had beat the expectations. Uh, PMI manufacturing was released at the level of 50.1, beats the expectations of 49.8, and it's better than the last reading of 49.2. The same situation was with the non-manufacturing PMI actual data was were, were released at the level of 52.3 uh, market participants expected 51.6 and it was uh, slightly uh, uh, worse than her last reading of uh, 52.4 so it's only 0.1 point uh, worse than expected housing starts consumer spending gdp consumer price index all of the data are from the uh, from france we got the qof economic barometer data from switzerland uh, just slightly below the expectations 108.5 while the expectations were 109 unemployment rate uh, and unemployment change data are scheduled for release from the uh, Germany unemployment rate is expected to drop from 5.4% to 5.3% which is a good news we got the gross domestic product from um, uh, Italy and of course we got the consumer price index data from the eurozone scheduled for release at noon as you can see consumer price index is expected to increase from 4.1% to 4.5% and that means there is some sort of the inflation pressure on the prices so maybe maybe just maybe the ECB will start to uh, think about the potential interest right hike in the near uh, future but that just up to the uh, European Central Bank uh, the key data during the New York session are gross domestic product release uh, and quarterly gross domestic product annualized from Canada scheduled for release half past three. The gross domestic product is expected to be at the level of 0% and the annualized product for the third quarter from Canada is expected to grow from minus 1.1 to 3 percent uh, house price index case 320 city index and chicago purchasing managers index are scheduled for release at four o'clock from the u.s uh, but the key data are the consumer confidence and uh, of course uh, federal reserve chairman jerome power sp uh, speech again at five o'clock uh, Janet Yellen, the previous uh, chairperson uh, of the Federal Reserve, will give a speech at five o'clock as well, and the John Williams will give a speech at uh, half past. Uh, five so plenty of data plenty of market movers today uh, i think we are going to start with the us dollar index analysis the us dollar index has made another uh, higher high so we can now um, label our uh, our uh, five wave move to the upside just like uh, this so if we label this uh, recent move as the uh, wave uh, let's say wave one wave two this would be wave three this would be wave four and that's the wave five that's, uh, that's the perfect labeling of the uh, us uh, dollar movement to the upside the recent high was made at 96 point uh, 96.91 which is very nice five ways to the upside uh, were done let's take a look how uh, deep was the, the decline recently as you can see we got this let's say we got this decline here 1.28 percent so right now during the corrective phase we have already made let's say one point uh, there you go 1.21 so that's pretty that's pretty in line this one of course is a little bit shorter in time this one is much more complex in time let's just move it here there's a higher high here yes 1.35 big I beg my pardon 1.35 and this is almost the same so there is still a room 
to test the lows of the wave 4 maybe 1.44 1.40 might be might be okay for a bounce or maybe in, in a wave b or maybe uh, some sort of a uh, of a consolidation maybe as we can see market is going down from the over uh, extremely overbought market conditions towards the neutral level of the 50 in terms of the momentum so right now we will just uh, wait for the market to test the lows of the way for around 95.48 and then of course uh, the technical support at 95 point uh, 2024 20, uh, so this is the next technical support for uh, for market and uh, uh, it looks like uh, on a daily time frame chart if we take a look at this um, Elliott wave uh, progression of course we got we have a previous ones but as, as we take a look at this we can clearly see we are moving inside of the channel and then there was a channel breakout to the upside which is typical for the uh, increased momentum uh, movement that might be the last wave uh, to the upside for now uh, please expect some sort of a, a larger uh, larger drop uh, soon uh, as a corrective uh, cycle is of course uh, coming our way so that's the um U uh, US dollar index uh, I think next we should take a look at the US dollar to the Canadian dollar due to the uh, Canadian data waiting for the release so as we spoke about the ABC correction it was spot on we just um, uh, we just uh, finished this uh, recent uh, correction to the downside and since then the market is rising higher and higher we broke above the technical resistance at 1.2655 now we are trading at 1.2808 this is the next nearest technical resistance next target is the highs of the previous wave b we can now um, uh, sorry we can now remove the wave b there you go this is the next uh, level of uh, interest here and uh, let's just move one of the levels here uh, high of the wave b is around 1.2998 so we are heading here of course very nice bounce here very big candle daily candle um, from 1.2647 towards 1.2801 uh, right now there is nothing wrong with this uh, with this chart bulls are in charge of the us uh, us dollar we are buying us dollar selling the canadian dollar nothing has changed here us dollar the canadian dollar is going uh, up now let's take a look at gold we didn't took a look at gold for some time uh, now uh, gold is testing uh, the level of 1780 uh, as you can see very interesting pin bar was made here and uh, we last time we were talking about uh, we were talking about this uh, conjunction here so the level of 1760 longer time frame uh, trend line shorten time frame trend line all of them will be a uh, good reason for bulls to of course um, uh, be more aggressive and defend this level 1760 so far bulls started to defend even the level of 1780 so we have a first touch we have the second touch we have the third touch today bulls is um going a little bit um, higher towards 1801 1808 we will see how this uh, how this market uh, progression will uh, will be uh, uh, will be going on uh, possibly um, uh, there will be some kind of a rejection and then of course 1760 will be uh, will be um, tested again last analysis will be bitcoin what is bitcoin doing um recently we got the low of the wave 4 made on the chart so right now we are just moving uh, higher we are moving higher towards the level of 59,528 uh, in order to uh, to make the wave 5 to the upside so this is very very simple uh, analysis of the bitcoin Bro we broke above the trend line and now we are trying to uh, trying to 
move a little bit higher even if we adjust our trend line there you go uh, we still are uh, the bulls are still in charge of this um, this uh, this market and we are waiting for the breakout of 59,528 towards 62,517 and the key technical resistance 64,768 so that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching and i hope i see you guys next time bye bye